welcome to Therapeutic Yoga. Today's class is, gonna, is going to be focusing on the hands, the wrists, and the elbows. So if you've had any sort of issues with, say, tennis elbow, which is lateral epicondylitis, or golfer's elbow, which is medial epicondylitis, or carpal tunnel, which is, you know, an issue related to a nerve issue in your wrist, or any sort of arthritic changes in your hands. Hopefully today's class is gonna help you with many of those different conditions. So we're gonna need two face cloths for today's class. Um, you'll only actually need one while we're in sitting. So if you want to, you can kind of take your other one and kind of throw it on down, or you can just place them both on your, on your thighs, whichever's comfortable for you. Um, you'll need a chair, we're gonna start in sitting and then a yoga mat when we make our way down to the floor. So once you have all that set up, allow yourself to find a comfortable seated position on your chair. Make sure that you feel that there is weight in both of your feet. So take a quick look down, please, and check in that your knees look like they are right over the center of the middle of your foot. And so if you have your feet too far out or you're too far back, you're not going to be able to kind of transmit weight down into your feet. So just kind of check in that it's kind of straight down to the center of the foot. And then check in with your legs. So a lot of us when we sit, mostly because of muscle imbalance in our hips and because of issues with our back, the tendency is immediately to let the legs kind of fall out to the side if it's more of a tightness issue in the hips or if it's a weakness issue in the hips, and this mostly speaks to you ladies in the room, you're gonna let your knees fall in or worse yet, wanna kind of cross your legs. So check in that even though we're gonna be working wrist, hands, and elbows today, we're really training the muscles of the, our lower quadrant in how we sit efficiently as well. So two fists width about of your legs. Once you have that, make sure you have yourself away from the back of the chair. So we're really gonna be working on unsupported sitting during the sitting session, uh, sitting part of our session today. Uh, and then once you're there, then take your hands for me to your pelvis. And we're just gonna work on a little bit of pelvic rolling here. And so if we think about it, it's kind of the motion of our low back and our pelvis together. And so just allow yourself to place your hands on your pelvis and feel your pelvis roll back and then feel your pelvis roll forward. Now, for you at home, if you roll your pelvis back and you roll your pelvis forward and that motion doesn't seem like it's fairly equal front to back, I want you to go ahead and grab a towel uh, or a pillow or something and sit on it so that you make yourself a little bit taller. Then once again, roll your pelvis back, roll your pelvis forward. Find for you what is the most efficient position that you can sit in and get equal roll of your pelvis forward to back. That way we know we can get the most amount of movement of our spine which therefore allows lots of nutrition to those discs and nerves and everything else. So once you've rolled your pelvis forward to backward, then allow yourself to find the middle of the road between that forward and backward. If that's correct, you should be fairly close to where those sit bones are. And once you're in that position, sitting nice and tall through your rib cage, check in that your feet probably right now don't have any weight on them. So what I want you to do is keep your spine still, keep your pelvis and your chest still, but just now use your hips and shift your entire trunk forward until you feel weight in your legs. You will know that you're at the right position because now you can't lift your legs up. That means you're transmitting weight through your base of support into your feet. That's exactly what we want for today. So if you're at home doing this class with me and in this position, you feel like you're tipping forward, then chances are you're someone that tends to sit either on their pelvis or with tension in their back. Learn how to kind of sit with weight into your legs like we're doing right now. Now, let's get our shoulder blades in a good position here. So just gently take your hands and 
kind of hold a tray in front of you if you want to think about that. Let's go to our right shoulder and just gently shrug your right shoulder up a little bit. So kind of shorten the neck and shoulder muscles, rotate the arm outward, and then pull that shoulder blade down as you kind of reach that elbow toward your back pocket. Once you have that, left shoulder, gently shrug it up a little bit, rotate that arm out, and then pull that shoulder blade back so that you can feel that it's like you can squeeze the muscles between both of your shoulder blades now. Squeezing those muscles, allow yourself just to derotate your arms, but not derotate your shoulder blades. Now in this position, you should have your arms gently resting. Palm up for me, please, on your thighs. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. And then if you can, place your tongue on the roof of your mouth. And we're gonna do some breath work with movement of our hands. Um, so if you are comfortable in just listening to me, you can just gently close your eyes. If you need to see what I'm doing, then you can kind of keep your eyes on the screen until you get the idea of what we're doing and then maybe join along with closing the eyes as well. So one final check, is there weight in your legs? Do your shoulder blades feel back and down? And are you gently squeezing? Is your neck long, your chin tucked, tongue to the top of the roof of the mouth? And then gently close your eyes if you want. All right, so all of our breathing is going to happen through our nose. We're gonna start with our thumb and our index finger. So take an inhale and straighten and extend those digits as far as you can. And then as you exhale, tip to tip, touch thumb to index finger and give it a squeeze. Inhale, spread those apart. Now go to your middle finger. And as you exhale, tip to tip, touch thumb to the tip of your middle finger and give it a nice little squeeze. Inhaling open, ring finger, exhaling, tip to tip of ring finger and thumb and give it a nice little squeeze. Inhaling open, and then exhaling tip to tip, pinky to thumb, give it a little squeeze. Inhaling open, and exhaling back to the ring finger, Inhaling open, back to the middle finger, give it a pinch. Inhaling open, back to the index finger. We're gonna go through one more round here. So inhale, open the fingers, exhale slowly and keep exhaling as you pinch them together. Really press them together. Inhaling open, middle finger now. Exhaling and keep exhaling and exhaling and really pinch them together. Inhaling open. Exhaling, ring finger to thumb. Give it a nice strong pinch. Keep exhaling. Inhaling open. Pinky finger to thumb. Keep exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Give it a big pinch. Inhaling open. Back to ring finger, give it a nice strong pinch. Inhaling open. Back to middle finger as you exhale, 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 pinch, pinch, pinch. Inhaling back open. And finally back to that index finger, exhaling, exhaling, give it a nice strong pinch. And then inhaling back open and then exhaling as you open your eyes. All right, so we're just gonna work on movements of our forearm. So this is called supination, this is called pronation. We're gonna do it with placing our hands on our thighs with each movement. So start with your palms down for me, make sure your trunk is nice and long, shoulder blades are back and down, feet, there's weight through them, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, tongue to the roof of the mouth. Start with an inhale, open all your fingers and supinate or palm up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, turn them down and then push all the fingers down into the thumbs. Can you feel the extra shoulder blade muscle squeeze? Inhale, open up the fingers, turn the palms upward. And then as you exhale, turn downward and start to squeeze the hands into the 
thighs as you feel the shoulder blades extra squeeze. Let's do that three more times. Inhaling open, exhaling closing. Give it a pinch through the arms, feel the shoulder blade squeeze. Inhaling open, exhaling closing, pinch, pinch, squeeze. And inhaling and opening and exhaling and closing and pinch, pinch and squeeze. Very nice. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of soft tissue work through each of our forearms. So a lot of times the reason we have problems with our wrist and our elbows is because the tissues, our muscles in our forearm really get stiff and don't learn how to move amongst one another. So here's what I want you to do. Take your left hand, go to your right wrist area and gently kind of grip your hand around your wrist like I am. Once you have that, start to grip through your left hand so that you feel like you're almost feeling bone. Then take an inhale, turn the palm up. Now we're gonna play with muscles here. As you exhale, try to turn the palm down but hold the squeeze of the left wrist. You are massaging muscles. You might even feel some burning. Inhale, turn the palm up. Exhale, turn it down as you move those tendons and muscles of your wrist. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Beautiful. Release that. Wherever your wrist is now, come down one hand length. So you're just coming up the forearm. So you're kind of in the middle of the forearm now. Make sure that you're gripping where you primarily feel muscles on the outside of your forearm. So not so much on the inside, but more on the outside. So we can get all those really um, important extensors that sometimes get limited. All right. Squeeze that forearm nice, nice and tight with that left hand. Inhale, turn the palm up. Now, Exhale, turn it down and feel the burning as you're really playing and mobilizing all of those tissues of your forearm. Inhaling, turning up. Exhale, turn down, turn down, turn down. And inhale, turning up. And exhaling and turning down and turning down and turning down. Beautiful. Finally, bring it up to the back of the forearm so that your whole palm is holding on to those extensor muscles of the back of the forearm. In this position, squeeze the hand on the left so tight that you feel like you're gripping all of those muscles of your upper arm, upper forearm on that right hand. Now inhale, turn the palm up, probably don't hear, feel too much there. As you exhale, turn down and feel the burning as you're gripping through that left hand. Inhale, turning up. Exhale, turning down. One more time. Inhale, turning up. And exhale, turning down. Very good. So this is called self-massage of your muscles. Now, take your palm to the front side of the forearm, stay nice and close to the elbows. Now we're gonna get the flexors, so the muscles that attach to that inside of the elbow. Start with your palm in mid-range. We're going to inhale and turn downward first. So squeeze your left hand. Inhale, turn down. Now exhale and turn up. Do you feel any burning? You may not feel as much as you did on the opposite side. It's all a matter of where your muscles are tight. Inhale, turn down and exhale turn up one more time squeeze the left hand inhale turn the palm down exhale turn it up come to the center of the forearm palm up here and then in this position grip one last time inhale turn down exhale turn up inhale turning down exhale turning up one last time, inhale, turning down, and exhale, turning up. Very nice. All right, so we did five positions on the right forearm. We shall do five positions on the left forearm. So take your right hand and fully grip around the wrist. See if you can get full contact around and give it a nice, good, tight grip. 
That way you know you're kind of feeling where the bones are. We could turn our wrist, but instead what we're gonna do is keep our wrist tight and gripped. So we're working grip strength of our right hand now. Start with inhaling and turn your palm upward. And then as you exhale, turn that palm down. For those of you that may have had carpal tunnel, this is what you need right here. Inhale, turn that palm upward. And then exhale, turn it downward. One more time. Inhale, turning upward. And exhale, turning downward. Very nice. Take the palm of the right hand, come to the muscles on the back of the middle of the left forearm. Give it a nice good grip. Start with inhaling, turning up. Now, exhale, turn down. See if you can get some burning of those muscles of your left forearm. Inhale, turning up. Exhaling down. One more time, inhaling, turning up. And exhaling down. Very good, inhaling up. And exhaling down, all right. Up to this upper area where all these big muscles are of your outside of your forearm. Really grip tight with your right hand. Start with an inhale, grip nice and tight. And as you exhale, try to turn that muscles down as you feel that burning underneath your palm. Inhale, turning up, squeeze nice and tight and exhale, turn down. Boy, I am really tight on this left side. And inhale, turning up one last time in this position. Exhale, turning down, grip, grip, grip through that hand. Beautiful. Take the right hand now to the middle area of the palm side of the forearm. So really getting more of those flexors of the wrist area. So as you put your palm over that area, we're gonna work on inhaling and exhaling opposite here. So start with inhaling down and then exhaling up. You've got it. Inhale down, really grip, and then exhaling up. And one more time, inhaling down and exhaling up. Final position coming more to the middle area, gripping nice and tight again. Inhaling up and exhaling down and inhaling up and exhaling down last time inhaling up and exhaling down i may have messed that up i'm not really sure but hopefully you've gotten some nice good self massage of all of the muscles of your forearms now check in with your seated posture your unsupported sitting how are you doing have you slumped back or have you arched your back Go back and make sure you've got weight through your feet. Your knees are still hip distance apart. You feel like you're hinging from your hip and your, your nice and tall shoulder blades are back and down. Neck is long, chin is tucked. We need to strengthen these core muscles and the way to do it is to learn how to sit efficiently. All right, let's do some movements through our wrists now. So gently straighten your elbows and bring your arms out in front of you. As you inhale, bring your palms away from you. Stretch through your fingers all at the same time. And then as you exhale, turn them down. Pull the fingers back towards you. Keep the thumbs pointed towards one another. Inhaling, lifting up. So it's kind of like you're rotating around your thumbs. That's what I want you to think about. Exhale, come down, but really bend those fingers at the same time. Maybe you get a little bit of stretch through those forearms. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, two more times. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Pull those fingers back so you feel those stretches of those tendons. Last time, inhaling up and exhaling down. Very nice. How funny is it that we're working our wrists and our hands and I'm getting warm exercising? Very strange. All right, so grab a towel for me, please. So we're gonna work on strengthening our pronation and our supination now. I'm gonna show you a very easy way to do that with a simple little face cloth. But obviously if you had any sort of resisted band or even a weight at home, you can do these exercises with that. So I want you to start, we're gonna start with the right hand, grip the edge of your face cloth so that you're kind of holding it into your hand. 
Make sure as you grip, you don't extend your wrist a lot. So it's kind of like there's a straight line straight down through the thumb and then bend your elbow. With the opposite hand, hold the lower half of the towel still. Take a deep inhale and turn the wrist up as you feel the resistance of the towel. And then as you exhale, turn back down. Inhaling, turning up. Exhaling, coming back down. Where's your back? Where's your tongue? Where's your neck? Inhaling, turning up. Exhaling back down two more times. We're going to kind of keep five as our motive, motto for the day. Exhale, coming back down. And again, inhaling, turning up, and exhaling, coming back down. Flipping to the left hand, holding that left at the end of the towel, the right at the bottom of the towel. Check in that your wrist is nice and straight and you're not in any sort of extension or flexion, and then just gently bend your elbow. Pulling down with the right hand this time. Inhale, turn that left palm up. You might feel like you're weaker on one side than the other. Exhale, turning down. Four more times, inhale, turning up, exhaling down, inhale, turning up, exhaling down. Two more times, inhaling, turning up, and exhaling down, and inhaling, turning up, and exhaling down. Very nice, so we worked this motion now we're gonna work this motion. So take the towel back to your right hand, hold it palm up so that the little piece of the inside of the face cloth is pointing inward. Then with the left hand, grip the outside of it. Right elbow is straight. Use your triceps on this left side to kind of pull the towel down. Now, inhale, turn your palm around the towel. Exhale, come back. That's it, guys. Inhale, turn it down. Exhale, come back. Make sure your elbow doesn't go out to the side but stays in its neutral position. Inhale, turn down. Exhale, coming back two more times. Inhale, turning down. Exhaling, coming back. And inhaling, turning down. And exhaling, coming back. All right, same movement on this side. So take your left hand, palm up. Bring the face cloth so that the face cloth is at the outside of your hand. A little piece of the face cloth is pointing inward. Elbows at 90 degrees, wrist is nice and straight. Take with the right hand the bottom of the face cloth, straighten your elbow and kind of pull that face cloth so you get this tricep and this bicep all working together. All right, let's give this a try five times. So inhale, turn that cloth around the hand. Elbow does not go out to the side. Exhale, coming back. Four more times, inhale, turning down, exhaling up, inhale, turning down, exhaling up, inhale, turning down, exhaling up, and final one, last use of our towels, inhale, turning it down, and then ex exhale, turning it up. Very nice, so take your towels, just gently throw them down near your mat. We're gonna be using them in a few minutes. We're just gonna do a little bit more through our wrists in a sitting position. But before we do that, let's just do a couple of cat cows here. So rest your hands on your thighs. Make sure you feel weight through your feet. Take an inhale, arch through your back and your pelvis. Lift your chest up, shoulder blades back and down. Lengthen through the front of your neck. Gaze up to your ceiling. And then as you exhale, slide your hands to the knees, pull yourself back, stretch through the shoulder blades, tuck the tailbone down, chin to the chest, and look into the belly. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, really lifting up, arching the back, lift that tailbone, shoulder blades back and down, chin all the way up. And then as you exhale, grip those knees as you pull yourself back to stretch through that rib cage, tuck that tailbone under, chin to chest, look to the belly button. Final time, inhale, lifting everything up towards the ceiling. Can you get that gaze all the way up, shoulder blades back and down, and then exhale, curl everything under, chin to chest, look at that belly button. Very good, come back to your neutral position for me. So we're gonna do a little bit of a nerve glide here using both of our arms together. So our neck is gonna stay in neutral. So what I want you to do, is do not bring your hands higher than shoulder height. 
just gently have your arms out away from you. Have your fingertips straight away from you. Thumbs, place them to the back of the room. Now, check in that there's weight through your feet, that your knees are still in alignment and you haven't fallen out or in. Kind of gently push through your feet this time. So kind of engage your pelvic floor and your glutes in this position. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck and settle your, tail, tail, uh, settle, uh, settle your chin into your throat. Tongue to the roof of the mouth. Now here's what we're gonna do. Watch me one time really quickly. We're gonna inhale and drop a wrist and flex a wrist. And then we're gonna exhale and drop a wrist and flex a wrist. So it's kinda like we're doing a dance move. And then we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna re re reverse the inhale and the exhale. So if your shoulders are already getting tired because we're working our deltoids and our rotator cuff muscles here, particularly your supraspinatus a little bit, just gently drop your arms down tiny bit, but keep those shoulder blades back and down. All right, let's give this a try. So start with dropping the right hand down and lifting the left hand up. So inhale, keep the elbow straight. Exhale, reverse. You got it, guys. Keep the elbow straight. It's hard to do. Inhale, keep the elbow straight. Exhale, keep the elbow straight. Last time, inhale, keep the elbow straight. And then exhale, keep the elbow straight. Relax the arms down, give yourself a couple shoulder circles. And then let's do it all over again. So push into your base of support this time. So push your feet down, feel your pelvic floor, your glutes, your abdominals, everything engage. Arms gently out to the side, elbow straight. Back is nice and long, shoulder blades are back and down, neck is long, chin is tucked inward, tongue is to the roof of the mouth. We're gonna drop the left hand down first, lift the right hand up first. Let's give it a try. Inhale, drop the left, raise the rest, uh, uh, right, elbows are straight. Exhale, reverse that, keep those elbows straight. Inhale, drop the left, lift the right. Exhale, reverse it. Can you keep the elbow straight? It's so hard to do. Inhale, drop the left, lift the right. And exhale, reverse it, keep those elbows straight and relax. Very good, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Circles through the wrists or through the shoulders. Last thing that we're doing here before we make our way down to our mat. So please take your hands into a nice little uh, um, palm squeezing towards one another, kind of like at the center of your sternum. Elbows are gently out to the side of you. Make sure you feel full contact with all of your palms, pinkies, thumbs, middle fingers, and index fingers. So get everything contacting one another. Push gently down into your feet, shoulder blades back and down, lengthen the neck. Start to squeeze the palm, index fingers, middle fingers, ring fingers. Um, what am I missing? Index fingers and thumbs together. That's it. Keep that squeeze. As you keep that squeeze, take an inhale and push everything to the right side. As you exhale, come back to the center. All right, let's try the opposite. Inhale, push everything to the left side. As you exhale, come back to the center. So you're keeping that squeeze through all of the fingers and palm. Inhale, push to the right, stretch through the right wrist. Exhale, relax. Left side, inhale, push to the left. Push all of the index fingers and middle and ring and pinky. Exhale to the center, last time. Inhaling, push more to make it go to the right. Exhale to the center and finally inhale, push to that left and exhale to the center. Very good. Now, do some circles for me of your wrist, clockwise, counterclockwise. Just get a couple of movements of that before we make our way down to our mat. Very nice. Now, slowly transition yourself from your chair down to your mat. We are done with your chair, so you can just kind of gently move it off to the side. Once you make your way down to your mat, just slowly settle onto your heels for a second. Take your towels and we're gonna kind of set our towels up for a way that we can support our wrists during our, um, our hands and knees exercises today. So just kind of roll your little tiny towels up so that you've got a little tiny support and then just kind of rest them on your towel, I mean on your mat. Roll it on up and then just kind of rest it on your mat. And so imagine where you might have your towels or your, or your face cloths 
where your wrists will be when we go up into hands and knees. And then once you've done that, slowly kind of settle your, your tailbone and your sit bones back towards your heels. Just gently let your belly kind of come down towards your thighs and your chest down towards your knees. And let your elbows rest, lengthen your neck and let the crown of your head kind of come down towards the mat. And take this first moment to really kind of stretch out through your glutes and your low back and your middle back and the back of your neck. Kind of gaze backwards between your knees. Check in that your feet haven't fallen together so you get that nice stretch through your ankles. And take a nice deep inhale into your belly here. And then exhaling out. Nice deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more good one. Deep inhaling into the belly. And exhaling out. Slowly make your way up onto hands and knees. And as you make your way up onto hands and knees, these little towel rolls are for what's called your carpal bones. So we have this group of bones right here in our wrists that sometimes when they get too tight, cause carpal syndrome. Sometimes when they get too loose, they cause some instability issues with your thumb. Sometimes they start to have degenerative changes and have arthritis, which begin to create arthritis in your wrist. So it's oftentimes really nice to support this group of bones that are here. And so what I want you to do is take those carpal bones and rest them onto the face cloths. Once you have that position, see if you can place your thumbs pointed inward to one another, index finger pointed outward, outer three fingers kind of pointed, sorry, index pointed forward, outer three outward, elbows, and wrists directly underneath your shoulders, and then knees, kind of move your knees so that you can find the position that your knees stack directly on top of your hips. Feet directly straight behind you, gaze back, you can't see your feet on the inside or the outside of your knees. Now in this position, you're doing a nice stretch for those bones. So really pull those thumbs inward and simply allow yourself to inhale as you weight shift over to your right hand and then exhale as you weight shift to your left hand. Inhale to your right hand, exhale to your left hand. Let's do that one more time, inhaling to the right hand and then exhaling to the left hand. And come back to the center. Let's reverse that three times and then we'll give these wrists a little bit of break from the stretch. So really spread those fingers out, thumbs inward. Inhale over to the left, stretching out the outer left carpal bones. Exhaling now over to the right. Inhaling over to the left. Exhaling over to the right. And one more time, inhaling over to the left and exhaling over to the right. And come back to the center, take a nice deep inhale here. And then on the exhale, tuck your tailbone under, keep your hands on the towels, sit yourself back to give yourself that little bit of a shoulder stretch into this position. Now, with your four fingers still pushing downwards onto the mat, thumbs are still pointing inwards here. Can you straighten your elbows and get that stretch through your shoulders? If you have any pain, of course not. Just let your elbows bend, but try to keep your elbows straight. Gently allow your head to drop between your hands. How far can you sit back and stretch through those shoulders? Take a deep inhale into your belly and exhaling out. Nice deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Slowly bringing yourself back up onto hands and knees with that beautiful little support through those carpal bones. Let's go through three cat cows in this position. So index fingers, check in that they're pointed forward. Can you look at your elbow creases for a moment and make sure that they're pointed towards one another or slightly towards your index fingers? Take an inhale, sink your belly, lift your tailbone, shoulder blades back and down, lengthen your neck, lift 
look all the way up to that ceiling. And then as you exhale, tuck that belly in, arch your back, tailbone under, spread the shoulder blades, chin to chest, look all the way into that belly. Two more times. Inhale, sinking everything downward. And then as you exhale, curling everything all the way up and under, look into that belly button one last time. Inhaling, sinking it all down, shoulder blades back and down, looking up. And then as you exhale, curling everything up and under, tuck that tailbone, chin to the chest, walk your hands back halfway to your knees, keep that tailbone tucked, settle into your heels, slowly bend your elbows, drop yourself down into a child's pose. Three more breaths here. Make them count. This is where you're opening your hips and your back today. So take a deep inhale into your belly here and exhaling out. Nice deep inhale into the belly and exhaling. One more beautiful time, inhaling into the belly and exhaling. and slowly allowing yourself to come back into hands and knees. Now, I am going to turn and face you for this particular hands and knees pose. You are done with your trusty little towels, so you can just kind of place them over to the side of you. The reason I am going to face you is so that you can see what we're going to do to stretch through these wrist extensors and wrist flexors. So have yourself in hands and knee pose, just like you normally would. You're gonna stay where you are. I am just turning so that you can really see what my hands are doing in this position. Hands and wrists are, and elbows are shoulder width apart. Now, here's what I want you to do. Take your right hand and turn it backwards so that your index finger points towards your right knee. Take your left hand and turn it backwards so that your index finger points towards your left knee. Hopefully already you're feeling a little bit of stretch through these wrist flexors, but now allow yourself to try to straighten your elbows as much as you can. And then in this position, take a nice deep inhale and exhale, just try to sit back what you can. Now maintain the wrists being on your mat. Feel the stretch up and in towards the inside of each of your elbows. You might feel it more through your wrists. You might feel it more through your forearms. But hold the stretch here. Take a deep inhale into your belly. Lengthen your neck. Settle your chin. Exhaling here. Two more breaths. Can you do it before we take a breast on these wrists? Deep inhale in. And exhale one more time, deep inhaling in. And exhale, and then slowly sitting yourself back, finding yourself in child's pose again. So if you are the person that has had in the past issues with your inside of your elbows, so what we call golfer's elbow or medial epicondylitis, that is the stretch for you. Maintain that stretch for three to five breaths and do it every day. Drop yourself down into your child's pose for me. Check in that your feet haven't fallen together. Knees are still hip distance. Slowly soften your elbows. Drop your crown of your head to the floor. And let's work on just moving our hands up and down in this child's pose. So just take an inhale and turn your palms up. And then as you exhale, turn them downward. Two more times. Inhaling, turning the palms up. Exhale, turning them downward. And inhaling, turning the palms up. And exhaling, turning them downward. Beautiful. Slowly coming back up onto hands and knees. Now, I would like to say a little quick, be careful with the next stretch. So the next one is for our wrist extensors. Because of those carpal bones, you don't ever want to do this stretch with both arms together. So we're going to do the right arm first, and the left arm is just going to support some of our body weight, and then we'll do our left arm second. So bring yourself into your hands and knees. Have yourself so that your knees and hips are still in alignment. Your hand is so that your right index finger 
right now, your right index finger is pointed forward. We're going to play with understanding how to use our shoulder and our forearm supination first. So with your hand in this position, put as much weight as you need to, either in a fist or palm down with your left hand. Can you figure out how to rotate your upper and your lower arm into supination? So look at your elbow crease and turn it all the way out and away from your knee. All right, so now you've figured out how to do the final step of the stretch. So now let's go into the stretch. So that same right index finger, palm up, point the index finger towards your right knee. So make sure your palm is up. Then slowly straighten your elbow and sit back until you start to feel a stretch through that outer forearm. Finally, can you turn that elbow crease away from you like we just practiced? Okay, three breaths here. Take a nice deep inhale and an exhale. Two more breaths, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, deep inhale here and exhale. Those extensor tendons really need this. One more time, deep inhale here and exhale beautiful shake out that right wrist and now it feels dead it will feel great the remainder of the day <laughs> all right let's do the left so place your left index finger forward first let's make sure you understand how to rotate through your shoulder and your forearm so can you figure out how to get your elbow crease to the away from your knee once you've figured that out Take that index finger, palm up, point the index finger towards the knee, wrist down. Once you have that, straighten your elbow slightly, start to sit back until you feel that stretch through that forearm. And finally, rotate that wrist and that, fore, that arm so that that elbow crease points all the way forward. Can you do it? Hold yourself there, take a deep inhale in, and exhaling out. I am so much tighter on my left today. Inhaling in, I'm smiling because I could be crying. Exhaling out, and again, inhaling into that belly, and exhaling out. Sit yourself back onto your heels, give some circles and movement with that left wrist. Again, please let me repeat, that is the best stretch because it is weight bearing for tennis elbow, for lateral epicondylitis. However, never, ever, ever do it with both arms together. It's really too much weight on those carpal bones. All right, find yourself back into child's pose, please. So sit yourself back on your heels, belly onto the thighs, rib cage onto the knees, drop and lengthen the back of that neck, crown of the head back onto the floor. Take those elbows gently back beside you, palms, have them down for me for a moment. Let's do one nice deep inhale into our belly and exhaling out. All right, let's move through our palms again. So inhale, turn the palms upward and then exhale, turn them downward. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, palms down. And inhale, palm up. And exhale, palms down. Two more times, ladies and gentlemen. Inhale, palms up. And exhale, palms down. And one more time, inhaling, palms up and exhaling palms down very nice from here slowly allow yourself to lay on your side and once you've laid on your side and gently roll yourself over onto your back finding yourself onto your back for the rest of the class keep your knees bent your feet flat on the floor about hip distance apart in this position just kind of rest here for a moment get your shoulder blades back and behind you Take your right hand to your belly, just above your belly button. Take your left hand to your wrist, please. And then in this position, lengthen your neck and settle your chin. 
rest your rib cage let the left hand rest on your sternum or the front of your chest try to minimize the movement of the left hand and let's just do three nice really good diaphragmatic breaths here so take a slow deep inhale into your right hand and into your belly and then as you exhale just let that hand settle 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 down and two more breaths, deep inhaling in. And exhaling out. And one more. Nice deep inhaling in. And exhaling out. Beautiful, slowly releasing your hands from your chest and your belly, taking your right knee, interlacing your hands around the shin bone on the right side, taking a nice deep inhale here. And on the exhale, pulling that right knee to your chest, taking an inhale here. And then on the exhale, slide that left leg down the mat. Make sure that it kind of goes straight down and not out to the side for me. Going back to the right leg here, take a deep inhale and on the exhale, pull that knee back into your chest again. Now, just hold this position today. Allow your toes to kind of point upward, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, shoulder blades back and down, drop your rib cage if your rib cage is flared. Just take a deep inhale into your belly here. And exhaling out. Two more breaths, nice deep inhale in. And exhaling out. And one more, nice deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Left leg, inhale, slide it up the mat and then exhale, release your right foot to the floor. Take a nice deep inhale as that left knee comes up to the chest and then as you exhale, bringing it up and into the chest, interlacing the hands around that shin bone on the left side. And now with your right leg, taking a deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, sliding the right leg down the mat. Again, checking in that it's straight down the mat, not out to the side or crossed. Go back to the left leg for a moment, nice deep inhaling in. Exhale, pull that knee into the chest. Now, lengthen the neck, settle the chin, shoulder blades back and down, drop the rib cage down. Let's find that diaphragmatic breath on this side. Deep inhale into the belly. Feel that opening up through that right hip flexor as you inhale. And then as you exhale, just let the be out belly air go. Two more times. Inhaling into the belly. And exhaling. And inhaling into the belly. And exhaling. Right leg, inhale, slide the leg up. And on the exhale, release the right foot to the floor. Very nice. Take your arms. Gently place your arms out to the side of you. So have your arms kind of like in a gentle T formation. Walk your feet out to the edges of your mat. And so that we can do some windshield wipers here. So not doing a lot through our hip joints or our hip rotators today. So let's do some windshield washers so that we can kind of, windshield wipers so that we can kind of feel a little bit of opening at the end of the class. So take a nice deep inhale here. And then on your exhale, drop your right knee out, your left knee in. Feel the opening up and through the left leg. Feel the opening in through the right leg. So focus on the right leg for a moment. Take a deep inhale in. And then as you exhale, maybe let that knee fall further. And then focus on that left leg. Take a deep inhale in. And then exhale, pull that knee down even further. Now, deep inhale into your belly here. Exhaling out. Two more breaths. Nice deep inhaling in. And exhaling out. And deep inhale inward. And exhaling out. 
Moving both legs at the same time, inhaling, bringing the knees all the way back up to the center. And then as you exhale, rotating those legs to the opposite side, letting the left knee fall outward, the right knee fall inward. Focus on the left knee for a moment, take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, try to get that left knee towards the floor. Right leg here, nice deep inhale. As you exhale, pulling that right knee towards the floor, feeling that blue, beautiful opening through the outside of the right hip. Three deep inhales and exhales. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin here. Nice deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. Two more breaths, deep inhaling in. And exhaling out. And inhaling inward. And exhaling out. Moving both legs at the same time, inhaling, bringing the knees back up to the center. And then just kind of exhaling, finding the feet back in that hip distance position of your mat, knees pointed upward shin bones vertical to the floor as the ankles rest directly underneath your knees. All right, so take your hands and allow your hands to kind of be out to the side of you. They can be in T formation if you like, or they can be slightly down from T formation. Have your palms pointed upward, have your thumbs pointed up towards the top of your mat. Straighten your elbow, shoulder blades are back and down, drop the rib cage, kind of engage through your abdominals, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Now, think about just your wrists here. Take an inhale and push the wrists into the floor as you straighten your elbows. And then as you exhale, point your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Very nice. Four more times, ladies and gentlemen. Inhale, push the wrists into the floor, straighten the elbows. Exhale, fingertips up to the ceiling. Keep those shoulder blades back and down, abdominals tight. Three more times, inhale. Pushing the wrist down, hands into the floor. Exhale, pointing the fingertips upward. And two more times, inhale, pushing those wrists down. Exhaling, fingertips up to the ceiling. Final time, inhaling, pushing those wrists down. And exhaling up to the ceiling. Very nice. Turning the palms down now. So we're going to inhale, push the palms downward. Exhale, fingertips up to the ceiling. I know you can only see one of my hands, but you know what I'm doing. Shoulder blades are back and down. Tighten the abdominals, engage through the rib cage, lengthen the neck, settle the chin, tongue to the roof of the mouth. Inhale, push the palms down here. Exhale, pull the wrists and the fingertips up to the ceiling. Four more times. Inhale, push the palms down. Exhale, fingertips up to the ceiling. And inhale, push the palms down into the floor. Exhaling up to the ceiling. And two more times, inhaling, pushing that palm down to the floor. Exhaling, fingertips up to the ceiling. Final time, pushing both palms down into that floor nice and hard. And exhaling up into the ceiling and then relax your arms for me here. Take your left leg, please. Slide it all the way down your mat and take your right foot, place it on your left thigh. Left hand, grab that right knee or outside of your thigh. Right hand gently rest it out to the side of your body. Take a deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, start to pull the right knee across to the left. Lift the pelvis. Lift the low back, lift the rib cage, but keep the right shoulder blade down onto the floor. Lengthen through that right arm, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, and then turn your gaze towards your right thumb. Now, take a deep inhale into your belly here. And then exhaling outward. Two more breaths, deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. And one more time, nice deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Bringing your head back to the center. 
starting at your right rib cage first and slowly derotate rotating the spine back down low back touches the mat followed by the pelvis followed by the knee upward placing the right foot on the floor sliding the left leg up sliding the right leg down left foot onto the right thigh right hand up and over to that left leg left arm out to the side of your body taking a nice deep inhale here and then on the exhale pulling the right knee or left knee across to the right lifting the pelvis lifting the low back lifting the rib cage keeping that left shoulder blade down lengthen out through that left arm today lengthen your neck settle your chin and take your gaze towards that left thumb now nice deep inhale into your belly here exhaling outward two more breaths deep inhale in next coming out and one more breath deep inhale in and exhaling out slowly lengthening your neck bringing your head back to the center starting at your left rib cage and bringing the rib cage down followed by the low back followed by the pelvis left knee up place your left foot on the floor slide your right leg up once both knees are bent, gently bring one knee to your chest, followed by the other. Take a deep inhale here on the exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Allow yourself to feel that last little opening through your low back. Take a deep inhale into your belly and make sure your neck is long, your chin is settled in. Exhaling out. One more breath, nice deep inhale inward. And exhaling out. And then gently releasing the feet to the mat. Now, allowing yourself to keep that nice, good resting position of your low back, sliding one leg down to one corner of the mat, the other leg down to the other corner of the mat. Shoulder blades gently underneath you. Rest that rib cage down so that you're not arching through your low back. Arms gently rest them out beside you. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Rest your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Gently close your eyes and let's beautifully end the class just as we began. So let's kind of work through that inhaling and exhaling through our fingers and our thumb. So doing both hands together here, inhale, open the space between the thumb and the index finger. And then as you exhale, pinch tip to tip, thumb to index finger. Inhaling, opening the palm. Exhaling, tip to tip, middle finger to thumb. Inhaling, opening the palm. Exhaling, tip to tip, tip, thumb to ring finger. Inhaling, opening through the palm. Exhaling, tip to tip, pinky to thumb. Inhaling open. Exhaling to that ring finger. Give it a little squeeze on the end of the exhale. Inhaling open. And exhaling to that middle finger. Give it a little squeeze. Inhaling, opening up that palm. Exhaling to that index finger. Now, in your own breath, go through one more cycle on your own and then rest your body.
Slowly start to wiggle all your fingers and your toes. And then make some beautiful circles with your wrists and your ankles clockwise and counterclockwise. And then when you feel like you're ready, slide one leg up followed by the other. And gently let yourself turn over on your side. Rest there for at least a breath or two. Nice deep inhaling and exhaling. And then when you feel like you're ready on an exhale, push yourself up into a seated position. Allowing yourself to kind of sit in a gentle little tailor pose, legs crossed. Hands are to our hearts and smiles are on our faces. May our wrists and forearms and elbows feel really happy today. Nice deep inhale in and exhaling out. Namaste. The highest in me salutes the highest in you. Thank you.